Let's look at the indicator, thymol blue, and try to determine how the absorbance spectrum would look. So which of the pi to pi star transitions, you can see this is a multiply conjugated system. It will have pi to pi star transitions that give rise to the colors of the various forms. So which of these transitions in thymol blue has the greatest absorbance at pH 10? Is it A, the 680 nanometer absorbance, B, the 550 nanometer absorbance, or C, the 470 nanometer absorbance? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, at pH 10, thymol blue is blue, so it absorbs red. B, at pH 10, all the forms exist, and the solution appears yellow, so it absorbs yellow. C, at pH 10, the blue form is dominant, so the primary absorbance is blue. Think about those and make a selection. We're looking at the indicator thymol blue, which is a polyprotic acid, and it has several color variations. So if you recall, thymol blue is red at pHs below 2. That's where the first proton titrates. At pHs above 2 but below 8, the yellow form predominates. And then at pHs above 8, you remove both protons and the blue form predominates. So we're talking about thymol blue in the region where we have a pH of 10. So at pH 10, the blue form predominates. Now, if a solution appears blue, where does it absorb? Remember, solutions that appear blue absorb other regions. And something that absorbs strongly in the red will pass blue colors and appear blue. So thymol blue at pH 10 appears blue. It absorbs in the red. That's the lowest of these, lowest energy of these three transitions, around 680 nanometers. pH 10, blue form, absorbance in the red.